All right, so this is very interesting. I know the screen is flickering, but a little while ago, that battery was completely dead. We had error code saying that the battery was at fault, replace the battery pack. We had all kinds of horrible error messages. We've been sitting in this car a while, as it's now 11, 12. Uh, none of the lights came back on. The car is currently running. And we have sat here and watched as we just sat, we just sat here letting the car run and do its thing. And this battery pack charged itself. Like it went from completely dead, the car saying the pack was no good, to now it's completely green and the car will turn the gasoline engine off and just uh, sit here on the battery pack. So I'm really, I'm, I'm tempted to buy this car because I just bid the other Prius up to $4,300 and I still can't get the high bid on it. There's no other Prius here. The only car here that would even be worth looking at is the Nissan Versa from the other day. And I'm just not all that interested in that car. Uh, chances are this is not a good flip car. I don't think this Prius would make a good flip car at all. Um, it's got a lot of hail damage. We obviously had some codes in the system that will probably return. But, you know, this battery pack has just got me intrigued. Maybe it's bad. Maybe it's not. Maybe we could do a video about replacing it or rebuilding it. I don't know. But the fact that it's fully charged now, put it in gear, it's in drive, it's running fine, it'll go forward. You can see the you can see it's working. Go backwards. Does that. Push park. I don't know. I do know the auction starts in 45 minutes, so I've got to make a decision here real soon. Okay, and just sitting here, like literally a couple minutes after I was talking to you guys, the battery went from fully charged green to down to two bars out of nowhere. And it's been sitting here charging the whole time. I don't know. I mean, it looks like the battery pack is charging back up, but I, I've, got a, I've got a feeling that battery pack is probably bad. Um, I think it's going to need some work. And then the car just turned off because now it's trying to operate on the battery pack alone. Very interesting, guys. Oh, did you see that? We've got the red triangle of death. There it is. Check engine light, maintenance required. All that stuff has come back on. It's charging, but the battery is dying. Uh, these hybrids, man. Yeah, and there it goes. Battery pack is, is shot back to zero. Here's a nice Expedition 4x4. This is a 2006, 171,000 miles. I was actually looking at this. I guarantee you the transmission is bad on it. Um, says it's a start and run, but it does not guarantee that it drives. I just checked the transmission fluid. Transmission fluid is bright pink and perfectly clean. So... I'm pretty certain this thing's got a shot tranny. I wonder how much a new transmission would be for one of these though. Oh, it's got third row seats. I didn't see that. Nice truck or SUV. It's got the DVD player. Very nice, very nice. Sunroof, leather, loaded. Nice Firestone Destination tires. We're running out of time and I'm just running out of patience here. We've got about 20 minutes for the auction starts and I'm not sure we're going to find anything today. Look at this. I didn't see this yesterday. That was a very low hit. Ouch. Man. Look at that. Wow. Crazy. Beautiful Ford Taurus. Oh, wait a minute. Not so much. Man, they're already getting new cars out here in a hurry. The auction's about to start. I know I probably keep saying that, but it's true. Look at that. 
Look at this. The auction is about to start. I can't find anything. I mean, I've been running around here trying to find something worth bidding on. And I just can't. The Corvette here is already sold. I was actually thinking about just getting it for fun. So, looks like the Versa is really the only thing left on my list that's worth watching. Well, here we are at the auction. Auction started. It's 12.10. We're standing in front of the Nissan Versa because we're waiting for a jump start and nobody's coming. So we will keep trying to wait patiently. Here they are, here they are. And then I guess we're gonna watch the auction from here. Exciting. So here is an old Monte Carlo. It's got the SS appearance package, but it's not an SS. The reason it's not an SS is because It's just a 3800. It's not supercharged, but says it's a run and drive. Transmission fluid looks decent, not new, but not too old. It's got good coolant, oil, blah, blah, blah. Seems to be good. It's got 200,000 miles on the odometer. It's got some really classy decals. I love these, uh, the Indianapolis pace car type thing. Got the Tasmanian devil down there. It's a clean looking car. You know, I'm, I love GMs, but you know, you're talking about a Monte Carlo with 200,000 miles on it. Uh, to say I don't trust it would be an understatement. <laughs> um, but it's a clean car. And I believe, if I remember correctly, this is a pure sale lot and it's at like 550 bucks. It sells today. Interior is pretty decent, you know, for a 200,000 mile General Motors keep that in mind headliner looks good we might just get the keys and fire this sucker up I kind of like this one obviously the seats a little worn but hey if it doesn't go for too much it might be worth playing with it could be fun since obviously I'm not gonna find anything else out here I'm not gonna get anything that I actually wanted we'll see it's still here the old firebird this time though somebody popped the hood they're wanting 10 grand i found this on craigslist and uh they're they're actually really wanting ten thousand dollars for this now i still i wish somebody could tell me how to open the damn hood on this thing i've been told to push up under here push up under there push up everywhere i think i may have just found it there we go Ugh found it I did Tim help me <laughs> pull this hood up while I pull this lever okay that doesn't open it that was the main latch I'm guessing there's a Well, how about that guys i figured out how to half open the hood and i can't open it the rest of the way that's not even sitting on here right well it's attached i can see it in here attached to the release lever the problem is i don't know where the damn release lever is oh. not in a 60s model dude Oh, look at that. Okay, scratch that. Dude, check out, look, look inside it. I know, I've seen it. It's nasty. Yeah, there she is. I figured I'd do this one a solid of showing it again because it's a kind of a beautiful old car, sort of. Oh, comes with a Garmin. Man, look at the water in the floor there. Yum. Gross. This poor thing. You got garbage bags, paper towels. And they want ten thousand for this? Ten smackers. This is a shell. Oh, uh, it's got a motor and everything, but yeah, it, this car seen better days. So my brother found another interesting one. This car has got bullet holes everywhere and evidence tape from the police department. Bullet hole, 
bullet hole bullet hole you got the police evidence stickers another bullet hole bullet hole Wow. Somebody had a moment. Evidence stickers. There's the in, there's the out. Bullet hole right here where it went in. Look at that. And then check this out. My brother pointed this out to me. This headrest. Look at that. Literally, that's where the bullet just went straight through it, man. You got a bullet hole in the touch screen, bullet hole in the dash, Excellent. windshield. In the back seat the what a mess. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, get ready to laugh. I don't know what I just did. Sight unseen. I'm desperate to buy a car, man. Nothing's working out today. Um, and this popped up on the screen as a pure sale. No reserve. Chevy Astro van. I got it for $900. Um, like I said, I, I don't know why I just bid on this. Um, but I did. So, I now own this. I don't know how to open that just yet, so let's go ahead and jump inside and see what we got here. Here she is. I mean, it doesn't look bad, right? Well, it doesn't look horrible. The dashboard leaves a little to be desired. It's definitely seen better days. That's not the key. This must be the key right here. And it's dead. Oh. Great. We're going to need a jump start. Oh. Uh, well, it's like we got power windows, power locks, blah, blah, blah. Pop the hood, see what we got underneath. I will not keep this. I have no interest in having a Chevy Astro, but I figure these things probably sell pretty reasonable. So, here it is. Oh, my bad. <laughs> uh, check the oil. Well, we'll check the oil cap anyway. Oil cap looks good. I don't see any buildup. Nothing under here looks too terribly bad. Wasp. Looks pretty dry. Oh, a wasp. Uh-oh. <laughs> Can't get the transmission dipstick out. Oil dipstick. Oil is full and it looks good. So that's that's a good sign. Oh, that's there we go. That's something to replace. People want to see what the transmission fluid looks like, right? It's got very clean transmission fluid. I don't know if you can see that, but it's pretty pink. That usually concerns me. <laughs> uh, we're not going to push this all the way back in. We're going to replace that dipstick for sure. This isn't connected, although I don't think it ever was connected to anything. I guess we'll find out if the AC works. Before we open this, we'll check the pressure on the cooling system and I don't even hear any coolant in it uh, whoa another wasp whoa I think that's the same one uh oh <laughs> I feel like I need to kill it so that it doesn't kill me oh another one no there's a second one there's a wasp nest under here uh, if I kill one I might piss off all the others Oh. Oh, babies. Well. 
Thanks for that. Uh, he took the wasp nest and he's holding it in his hand and they're going after him. All right, so it doesn't seem to have any coolant in it and that could be a real problem. Uh, I guess we'll just have to find out when we fire it up, right? All right, it's been about 40 minutes uh, since we went and asked for a jump start. We've asked, uh, I think three or four times we had to go up there and ask. We did finally get someone to come give us a jump. It is running. I'll get the mic a little closer so you can hear it here. It's very quiet. Very quiet motor. Transmission goes into gear just fine. AC is not functioning, which, you know, maybe just needs a shot of Freon or something. The battery, I'm certain, is completely shot. No doubt that the battery is completely gone in this. But there she is. The only warning light we have on is ABS. Everything else seems to work. Signals. Uh, headlights, brakes, all that stuff. Everything appears to work just fine. Got the little heads up thing here, overhead console. Seems pretty decent. Revs up good. Watch it. It's running great. I guess we'll see what happens, right? All right, so I think this thing's gonna be safe to drive. Uh, it's got half a tank of gas. I've let it run for about 15 minutes. The oil pressure is excellent. The engine runs quiet. The temperature gauge has not come off of uh, just below 210. I turned the heater on. Heater is nice and hot. So I think we are ready. Let's go pay for this thing. Let's see if we can drive it home. Wish me luck. All right, so we've got the money order. $1,275 is what it came out to after the Copart fees. We are back at the Copart lot. Let's go get our van. And before I do drive it home, we're gonna have them just leave it in a corner out here. I'm gonna go get the tag done, insurance, all that stuff, get everything up to date, legal. Um, and then we will drive it out of here and find out if there's some kind of major problem that we're not aware of. So let's find out. All right, so here we go. We've got her fired up. She's outside the Copart lot. A lot of you have asked, will they let you drive it off? Yes, they will. As you will see right here, we're at the Copart lot and they will let us drive it right on out of here with no license plate or anything. Um, however, I am not going to drive it out of here with no license plate because that's illegal and I'm not about to get in trouble. So what we're going to do is we're going to park this right here out of the way. Just like so, we're going to roll up the windows. We're going to lock it up. We're going to go get the tags and the title updated legal because the only tag it's got right now is this thing, which has nothing on it at all. Um, so we're going to go get some tags, lock this thing up, then we're going to come back and get it once it's legal. All right, so here we are in the Astro. Everything seems to be running just fine. We seem to be good to go. We got the tags, title transferred, title is updated. It's no longer a salvage car. Got my brother in the Chevy Cruze. We got Nick over here riding along. And we're about to find out if this thing drives or if we're gonna have a serious problem on the way home. Unfortunately, my window on this side died. It was working fine earlier. And now, uh, now I can't get it to work. And the AC is not operational right now, so that sucks. And here we go. Well, so far it's shifting. 
that's positive, right? So far, so good. Well, to me, it seems like a win. We've got no check engine light on, no anti-lock brake on anymore. All the gauges look good. We're going 40. Hell yeah. How about that? Not bad for what, what was it? 12.75, something like that? I'll see you guys when we get to the house. All right, 5.3 miles. We made it. It ran, it drove, it made it home. It was hot, still don't have this damn window working. Don't know what happened, it was working fine, now it's not. But uh, yeah, there it is. You're good, dude. Oh, right there's fine. Not a bad little van. Need to give it a bath, get her cleaned up. So quiet. Detail the engine bay. Gonna shoot some Freon into it, see if we can get the AC going. It's got matching tires. The tires are good all around. Nice matching tires. Sliding door works. Well, it did. There we go. Lots of room. This is the extended version, the EXT. Opens up back here. We got the French doors. Look at that. Look at all that room. All right, I got work to do. Got to do a little AC work, try to find some seats, uh, get it cleaned up as best we can. Hopefully we can get it ready for sale uh, by this Saturday. That'd be awesome. So comment below, tell me what you think we can sell this van for. I'm thinking the neighborhood of 2000, maybe even 2500, depending on how well everything comes out, if we can get the window working, if we can uh, get the AC working, etc., etc. So comment down below tell me what you think we're going to sell this for what you think it's worth if you like this content give this video a thumbs up if you don't like the content give the video a thumbs down basically if you like the van give it a thumbs up if you think the van sucks give it a thumbs down comment everything below stay safe out there i'll catch you soon in the next one